So recently Samsung has added a feature where they have added deep blood pressure monitoring and TCG in the watch and the issue what a lot of users are facing is they don't have a Samsung phone and is unable to measure T ECG and the blood pressure. So in this video we will see how we can activate this feature and definitely now this will also work with a non Samsung phone. Here you can see I am using the Samsung health monitor app on the nothing phone one and definitely it is working fine and I am getting all the options of blood pressure monitoring along with the ECG options. I just need to click on OK and place my little finger on the button and it will measure the ecg and i need to make sure that i have to keep my arm stable without any movement and it will measure the ecg within 30 seconds here you can see all the results of my ecg and definitely i can also download the full report if i want hey guys back with another video for my addictive blogging channel so in this video we will see how we can enable the blood pressure monitoring and ecg functions on the samsung galaxy watch 4 even if we have a non-samsung device it works across all the devices like the samsung galaxy watch 4 5 or 6 and if you are getting this error after updating the watch to the latest version these are the steps you need to follow to enable the blood pressure and ecg monitoring on the watch so as always this will be a sick video guys and if you are at NCS, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this so here you can see i have also got the tile from where i can record the ecg on the watch and if you are following the steps you will be unlocking all the ecg related features and blood pressure monitoring features on this watch so first you need to download an app on your phone and this app i will be leaving the link on the description we know already that a lot of apps are available to unlock this feature but this is actually working really really well and it is released recently in 2024 there are also options to check for updates and other versions of shm what which you can download what you have to do is just click on this mod companion and click on download and install the mod companion app on your phone i'm getting the install option if you're not getting the install option make sure you have enabled the installation from unknown sources feature to get this option directly from the app once you have installed this you need to open the app and once you open the app so you need to come to the watch tab and here you will get the apps which you need to install on the watch you need to first enable the developer options to unlock the developer option you need to go to settings and software information here you need to scroll down and you will be getting the option of software version you just need to click multiple times here and you will be enabling the developer mode once you have enabled the developer mode you need to come to settings and in the developer options you need to just turn on adb debugging and also the wireless debugging mode now you need to come to your phone in the watch tab and here you will be getting the option to connect your watch via the adb debugging option so what you need to do here you need to click on pair new device here on the phone you need to click on wireless debugging to give the pairing code here you can see the pairing code is 692704 and the ip port will be the last five digits so here i have given the pairing code and the ip port you want to click on pair this device and once you click on pair this device it will take some time and once it is paired it will give the option of ADP connection details. Here you need to give the port again. So 41565 is the port and I need to click on connect. Now is download these two apps which you need to install on the watch and click on the download option. So here you can see it is connected with the watch now and I need to install the APKs which I have already downloaded on the phone. And to do that, I just need to click on select APK and here the apks are downloaded so two apks i have downloaded here and i just need to click on them and they will be installed on the watch automatically so it will take some time and once it is installed you will be notified on the watch only and you can see it is successfully installing those apks on the watch you can see a message that the apk has been successfully installed i need to install another apk also so i will just click on select apk and install this one both apks need to be installed on the watch in order to get them work on the samsung galaxy watch 4 so once installed you will be getting the icons on the watch and will be the samsung health monitor company and apk and one will be the apk to measure the ecg and blood 
pressure so in the company and APK what it will give you the company and assistant if there are any updates related to the Samsung health monitor you will be getting that also and in here we'll be able to measure your ECG and blood pressure so first of all let's see the blood pressure and if I click on the blood pressure it will tell me to go to our phone and here I have the option to calibrate my watch and it will give me the instructions for measuring the blood pressure so to do the blood pressure monitoring you also need to calibrate it with the real blood pressure monitor so that it can give you accurate results so I don't have one blood pressure monitor right now so I will be skipping this one and if you have a blood pressure monitor you can calibrate your watch and then measure it and now the next thing which I will do is measure the ECG so measuring ECG will be really really easy as you can see I will just go to the Samsung health monitor app and click on the ECG option and once I click on ECG option I will get the option of putting my finger on the home key and it will measure the ECG and make sure the watch is snugly fit and also you should not be moving your hand by any means it will take some time and once it is done it will give you the report at the same time you can see that it is measuring my heart rate and this heart rate measurement is done from my finger only so I have got the reading now and it is giving me the sinus rhythm that means everything is all right and it will also give me an average heart rate and you can also see the results on the phone so once I come to the phone you can see I am getting the sinus rhythm that means everything is fine and I can also get a full report of my ECG whatever I have measured till now and also I can see whether there are any issues with my heart and my watch will be notifying anytime if I have any issues with my heart as it will be constantly monitoring my ECG from the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 so this is how you can monitor the ECG right now if you don't have a Samsung phone make sure you are updating the Samsung health monitor which you have downloaded on your phone regularly as sometimes if it is not working it will download the latest APK so that it can work on your watch so I hope you have liked this video if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because I will be making more videos like this so if you want to know how with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 you can control your computer and make it work as a mouse make sure you are clicking on this video which will be in the right hand corner and that will really blow your mind